Liana, also deaf, nonverbal, and autistic, arrived at the center with a history of injuring herself and her caretakers, often violently. She had been destined for confinement in an institution where she would likely spend a great deal of her future forcibly restrained. Her name is Liana. Came to us with extremely aggressive behaviors. Uh, she would lash out at other people, other staff, uh, lash out at the clients, destroy property, show these gigantic temper tantrums. So we found that um, the, the reason, what we think, the reason for a lot of these uh, maladaptive behaviors is her inability to communicate what she's trying to say. Oftentimes, people will make the mistake of laying out a day's activities for these clients and say, guess what? This is what we're going to do today. But suppose they don't want to do that. And the only way they can say, I don't want to do that, is to act out, is to get your attention. I was thrilled to death last year for Mother's Day when she gave me this beautiful little duck that she had painted and a candle and all of this beautiful stuff. I've never, I'd never seen anything like it before and a beautiful card. And you, you could see the pride that she took in giving it to, to, to Sue for Mother's Day. I mean, she, she, had all, she was just lit up. It's rare that when you, you see that, when you see that with Liana being proud of something that she has done, um, it, it was just, just a marvelous gift. Liana will soon have the opportunity to learn computer skills and how to use public transportation. So what we do is we say to Liana, Liana, we have all these activities. What do you want to do today? I don't want to do anything. That's fine. So what we do is we allow her to do what she wants to do, walk around if that's what she wants to do, sit down if that's what she wants to do. Even though these are very simple tasks, they're tasks that she's choosing to do. And we're saying, okay, fine, you do that. She's learning to do things that are meaningful, that she can enjoy doing, and perhaps she will have some talent for some area that they're exploring with her. Hello. I'm Anthony Hopkins. I'd like to spend a few moments telling you about a remarkable place. It's called the Willie Ross Foundation. Started in 1982, the Willie Ross Foundation has dedicated itself to bringing direction, meaning, and accomplishment to the lives of those people who call this place home.